welcome to our next game in the 1990 Nolan Ryan quest for 234 strikeouts. After six games in our replay, we are at four wins and 38 strikeouts. In real life, Ryan was at four wins, 42 strikeouts. The next game is against the Cleveland Indians and Arlington Stadium. It took place on May 11, 1990. In real life, after this game, which was suspended after six innings, Ryan uh, had 49 strikeouts and did not get the win, so four wins. So let's go ahead and get this game underway and see if we can't make up a little bit of ground on that strikeout quest. For today's game for Cleveland leading off playing second base will be Jerry Brown. In center field will be Mitch Webster. In left field will be Chris James. The DH will be Candy Maldonado. At third base will be Brooke Jacoby. First base will be Keith Hernandez. In right field, Corey Snyder. Catching will be Sandy Alomar, and at shortstop will be Felix Furman. And on the mound for Cleveland will be Jeff Shaw. For the Texas Rangers, leading off playing shortstop will be Jeff Hewson. First base will be Rafael Palmero. DH will be Harold Baines. In right field will be Ruben Sierra. Second base, Julio Franco. Catching will be Gino Petrali. In left field will be Pete and Cavaglia. Third base will be Scott Kubal, and in center field will be Gary Pettis, and on the mound for Texas will be Nolan Ryan. Both teams are dissonant today, so let's go ahead and get this game underway and see what happens. Leading off will be second baseman Jerry Brown. 1-1-2 one, one, is a pitcher flash. He is. Jerry Brown is not good eye, so that will be a strikeout. For the first out of the day and the first strikeout of hopefully many of the day for Nolan Ryan. Next up will be the center fielder Mitch Webster. 2-2-6. Two, two, he will not be hit by the pitch. See the cleanup batter? No. And he will fly out to left field unless he is a whiffer. And that is a no. So fly out to left for out number two. And next up will be the left fielder Chris James. 1-1-5 one, one, is a pitcher fresh. He is, and that'll be a pop-up to Nolan Ryan himself. So three quick outs there, and we will go to the bottom of the first. Texas coming up to the plate, and leading off will be the shortstop, Jeff Hewson. 1-1-5, one, one, is he fresh? Yes, and that'll be a pop-up to the pitcher. Out number one. First baseman Rafael Palmero will be up next. 2-4-4. Four, four. Is the pitcher an ace? No. Is the batter a champion? Sardai says no. And that'll be a ground out to the shortstop for out number two. Jeff Shaw is a full struggler on his cards. So we'll go ahead and put that little reminder there. And next up will be the DH Harold Baines. Two outs already. 1-2-2. Is pitcher a workman? He is, and Baines will hit a single to center field. Keep the inning alive for the D8 or for the uh, cleanup batter, right fielder Ruben Sierra. Two, three, six. DB control a dynamic? No. Is a pitcher batting? No, and that'll be a walk for Sierra. Runners at first and second here with two outs, and the second baseman Julio Franco. Two, two, three. Is the pitcher wild? No. Is the batter slugger utility? No. And that's going to be a single to left field. Active will steal. Let's see here. I don't believe Baines is active. No, he is not. So he's just going to go to third. And bases will be loaded for the catcher, Gino Petrali. Two outs here. 3 3 Five is the pitcher wild? No. Is the batter sad sack? No. And that's going to be a single to right field and a won't be a stolen base. But that's going to be a single to right field, which will bring in Baines and uh, Ruben Sierra was on second. And he is going to score. And who is on first? That'll be Franco. He is semi-active. He will go to third. So two out, RBI for Petrali there. Two out, two RBI. And Texas is up two to nothing already. 
Jeff Shaw got two quick outs there, and he's starting to fall apart. As left fielder Pete Cavaglia comes up, two on, two out. Four, five, five. Is the pitcher flashed? The decided eye says no. Is the batter home run king? The decided eye says yes. And four, five, five. That is a home run to right field for Cavaglia. And three more come across. It is five to nothing, Texas. And since that is the fifth run, Jeff Shaw is already not fresh. And they're going to go ahead and get a reliever warming up as the third baseman Scott Coolball comes up. All these runs coming across with two outs. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No. And that'll be a fly out to right to center field for out number three. After one inning, Texas is up five to nothing. And already a comfortable lead for Nolan Ryan as the DH Candy Maldonado comes up to the plate for the first time. 3-4-5, iron catcher. That is Petrali. I do not believe so. No. And is the batter a good eye? No. And that is a strikeout. Or out number one. Two on the day for Ryan as he has just broke 40 on the season. And we go to a baseball right now. Check for Brooke Jacoby, who will be neutral. Ryan will be semi-hot. 3-4. Cold batter, no. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. Out number two. Keith Hernandez coming up to the plate now for the first time today. 3-6-6. Six, six. Pinch hitter, no. And he will fly out to center field to end the second inning. So nothing doing for Cleveland as Texas gets ready to come up for the bottom of the second. Score is 5 to nothing. Texas as Gary Pettis comes up for the first time today. Jeff Shaw going to see if he can get through this inning. He is going to be on a short leash. 4-6-6. Six, six. Pitcher have control. Desired I says yes, and the pitch is red, and that is a single to left field. The dreaded 4-6-6. Six, six. Jeff Hewson will be up next. Popped out to the pitcher his only time. One, two, four. Pitcher have control. Decided I says no. Is the batter eager? No. And that is going to be a walk. And I believe that is going to be it for Shaw. As Steve Olin is going to go ahead and come into the game. I'm going to give him two innings of freshness. As Shaw just goes one full inning. And Rafael Palmero will be up next 0 for 1 on the day. The ground out to the shortstop. Runners on first and second here still with nobody out. 3-3-4. Three, three, Pitcher ace or star? He is semi-ace. The side eye says no. Semi-ace for the first batter. Is batter a sad sack? No. Is Palmero eager? He is not. And that's going to be a single to left field. Pettis is active and he is going to score. Houston is neutral, so he will go to third. And it is now six to nothing, Texas, here in the bottom of the second. This might be one of them games where it just never ends as we have runners on the corners here, still with nobody out. Harold Baines coming up to the plate, single and scored his first time up. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? Desired I says no. We go to an outfield drama check. 1-2 is the right fielder, Corey Snyder, iron. No, he is not, and that's going to be a routine fly out. And on a routine fly out, runners are going to hold. So that's going to be F9 or out number one. Ruben Sierra, cleanup batter, is up next. He, I believe, drew a walk his first time up. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Is pitcher ace or star? He is a star. That is going to deep fly out to right field, but that is going to bring in Houston for out number two, and it is seven to nothing, Texas. And with two outs, runner on first base, second baseman Julio Franco will come up next. Had a single his last time up. One, four, five. Is a pitcher a struggler? No. And that's going to be a ground out to the third baseman to end the second inning. Texas gets two more. It is seven to nothing as we head to the top of the third. Corey Snyder coming up to the plate to lead off the top of the third inning. 
Nolan Ryan with two strikeouts today already. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No. And that's going to be a fly out to center field for out number one. We go to a team chemistry check for Sandy Alomar. Both teams are full dissonant today. 2-5. Is pitching team dissonance? Yes. And a lack of hustle. Modestly hit ball. Drops in for a single. That's going to be the first hit of the day for Cleveland. As a shortstop, Felix Furman will come out to the plate. 2-3-3. Three, three. Pitcher ace or a star? The Sire Dice says he is not a star. Is a batter a slugger? No. And that'll be a fly out to center field for out number two. And the second baseman, Jerry Brown, coming back up. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. 1-3-6. Is pitcher ace? No. Is the batter whiffer or cold? He is semi-cold, but the Sire Dice says no. That's going to be an infield drama check. We'll take a look at 1-5. The shortstop is Houston Iron. That is a no. And that's going to be a smooth grab of bouncing bouncing ball for an out. And out number three. And we go to the bottom of the third. 7-0 Texas. And Gino Petrali coming up. To lead off the bottom of the third has a single and a run scored two four five is he a hero no and that'll be a pop out to second base we go to a player experience check for in cavaglia cavaglia is neutral and nolan will be semi prospect two two prospect pitcher desired i says no and that'll be a pop out to the pitcher Two outs as the third baseman Scott Coolball comes up to the plate. Over one to fly out to center field. Three, four, six. Is he eager? To start? I says no, and he's going to draw a walk to keep the inning alive. And we go to team chemistry check for Gary Pettis. He is one for one today with a single. Come on. Two, four. Is batting team harmony? No. And that's going to be an outfield drama check. We'll look at 2-4. The center fielder is Webster Gold. Mitch Webster is gold. So that's going to be a sensational diving catch for a fly out. Out number three. No runs for Texas that inning as we go to the top of the fourth. And Jerry Brown set to lead things off. No, he is not. Mitch Webster is set to lead things off. Steve Olin is semi-fresh now. And Mitch Webster coming up 0 for 1 today. 1 1 4 is pitcher fresh. He is, and Webster will ground out to the shortstop for out number one. Left fielder Chris James will come up next. He's 0 for 1 to pop out to the pitcher. 2 5 6. Struggler, no. Champion or patient, no. That's going to be an infield drama check. We'll look at 1 4. The first baseman is Palmero Iron. No, he is not. And that's an easy ground out. For out number two. And DH Candy Maldonado will be up next. He struck out his first time up. Four, five, six is the batter patient. He is not, and he's going to fly out to center field for the third out. So Ryan is mowing him down. He's not getting his strikeouts, but he's on on track for the win, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. It is seven to two, and Gary Pettis will be leading things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Gary Pettis, no, he will not. He flew out. Jeff Houston will be leading us off here in the bottom of the fourth. He drew a walk his last time up. Later scored one one one. Is a pitcher ace? No. Is a battery scrapper? Yes. And that's going to be a double to right field for Houston. If he wasn't a scrapper, that'd be a home run. As Palmero will come up next, one for two on the day with a single. Four, four, five. Is a pitcher a workman? No. Is a batter patient? No. That's going to be a ground out to first base, but that's going to move Houston on over to third with one out. And the DH Harold Jones or Harold Baines will be up one for two today. Whoa, two, four, six. Pitcher have control. He does. That's ground out to the pitcher. And the runner will hold 
as we have two outs now with the cleanup batter, Ruben Sierra, up. Had a sack fly his last time up. One, two, six. Is the pitcher fresh? Saturday says no. Is the batter a sad sack? That is a no, and that's a single pass second base. And that will bring in Houston from third, and it is now eight to nothing. Texas as Julio Franco will come up to the plate. One for two on the day. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Three, five, six. Are they the same? Righty on righty they are. And Franco will strike out for out number three. Texas adds one more. It is eight to nothing as we head to the top of the fifth. And Brooks Kobe will be starting things off for Cleveland. He flew out to right field his last time up. Two, two, two. Is, is he a sad sack? No. Is he a home run king? No. And that's just going to be a double to center field to lead off the fifth inning. We go to a team chemistry check for Keith Hernandez. Hernandez is 0 for 1 on the day. 2-5 is a pitching team dissonance. Yes, they are. And a lack of hustle. Modestly hit ball drops in for a single. Jacoby is stoic, so he's going to hold up at a third. We now have runners on the corners here with nobody out. And the right fielder, Corey Snyder, coming up 0 for 1 on the day. 1, 2, 6. Pitcher fresh. He is not. Sardai says no. Is the batter a sad sack? No. And that is going to be a single. That's going to drive in Jacoby. And Hernandez is going to go to second. As Nolan Ryan is now a semi-struggler until he gets an out. But it is now 8 to 1. Texas as Cleveland breaks into the run column and the catcher Sandy Alomar come up next had that hit back in the third his first uh, Cleveland's first hit four four six is a pitcher a star to start I says yes that's going to be a ground out to second but that's going to advance the runners out number one uh, Hernandez will go to third Snyder will go to second Ryan loses his semi-struggler as we have one out in the shortstop. Felix Furman coming up 0 for 1 on the day. Need a strikeout here. 1-1-3. One, one, is pitcher ace or dynamic? No. Is the batter a slugger? No. Is he a sad sack or home run king? No, he is not. That's going to be a single to center field. And Snyder is on second. He's going to hold up at third. So a single by Furman. Hernandez is going to come in to score. Snyder will hold up at third. We have runners on the corners now. It is eight to two, Texas. As Cleveland is able to string a few hits here and get on the board as the second baseman, Jerry Brown, comes up for the third time today. He is 0 for 2. 1, 3, 4, gold catcher, no. Is a battery a champion, no. We'll go to an outfield drama check. 4, 4. Is the center fielder Iron? That'll be Pettis. No, he is not. That's a running grab for a dramatic fly out. That's going to bring in Snyder from third. And there are two outs now. But the third run has come across. And it is eight to three. And we go to a team chemistry check for Mitch Webster. Webster over two today. Both the uh, team chemistry checks have gone against Texas. Let's, let's see if it changes it here. Batting team harmony? No. And that's going to be a pop out to left field for the third out. Cleveland gets on the board with three runs. It is eight to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Jesse Orozco will be coming in for Cleveland next. Shaw gave up seven. Olin went out with eight. Orozco will be coming in. First batter he will face is the catcher, Gino Petrali, one for two today. One, one, five, fresh, that's pop out two, the catcher for out number one. Pete Cavaglia come up next, had a home run, his first at bat. One, one, three, is pitcher ace or dynamic? No, is batter a slugger? No. Is he a sad sack or home run king? He is a semi home run king, but the side eye says no, so the single is going to stand. 
and Cavaglia is on first base as the third baseman Scott Kubal comes up to the plate 0 for 1 today with a walk. 4, 5, 6. Is he patient? No, he is not. And that'll be a fly out to center field for out number 2. We go to a team chemistry check for Gary Pettis, who is 1 for 2 on the day. Oops. 6, 6. Is batting team harmony? No. And Pettis will strike out for out number 3. Texas comes up empty there as we go to the top of the sixth inning, eight to three. And Chris James set the lead things off for Texas, down five runs as we begin the top of the sixth inning. Two, three, five is Ryan Wild. No, is the batter eager to start? I says no. That is going to be a ground out to second base to start off the sixth. And the DH, Candy Maldonado. Will be up next. One for, uh, over two on the day of the strikeout. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. No. Batter good eye. No. And that'll be a strikeout. Third strikeout of the day for Ryan. He's behind pace for today's game. He had seven strikeouts in real life. Only three today so far. So he's got a lot of work to do as the third baseman, Brooke Jacoby, comes up with two outs here in the top of the sixth. Jacoby, one for two on the day with a double and a run scored. 2-2-6 two, two, is, uh, batter is not hit by pitch. Saturday says no. Is this the cleanup batter? Nope, this is the fifth batter. Is he a whiffer? No, and that'll be a fly out to left field. Out number three, Cleveland goes down quietly. One, two, three as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And the shortstop, Jeff Hewson be leading things off. One for two today, the double walk. Two runs scored. Four, four, six. Is a pitcher star? No. Is a batter sad sack? Utility or patient? Zardai says he is utility, and that is a called third strike for the first out. First baseman Rafael Palmero will be up next. One for three today. Two, three, six. DB control or dynamic? No. Is a pitcher batting? No. And Palmero will draw a walk to get on base for the second time today. And the DH, Harold Baines, be up next. One for three on the day, 3-3-5. Three, three, it's pitcher wild, the side eye says yes. And that will be a walk for Baines. Palmero goes to second. And the cleanup batter, right fielder Ruben Sierra, up next. He is one for one with a walk and a sack. One, two, five. Is a pitcher a struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. Is he a whiffer? No. And that's going to be a ground out the third. It's going to be a five, four, three. And that will end the inning. So Texas gets a little bit of a rally going and promptly ends it. And we go to the top of the seventh. That is still eight to three. Nolan Ryan's coming out for his last inning of freshness as he faces Keith Hernandez. Corey Snyder and Sandy Alomar here in top of the seventh. Keith Hernandez, 1-1-4. One, one, is a pitcher fresh? No. The side eye says no. Batter sad sack or patient? He is semi-sad sack. He is full sad sack. And that'll be a foul out to the catcher. Out number one. Next up will be the right fielder, Corey Snyder. One for two on the day with a single and a run scored. One, two, three. Pitcher both flash and fresh. He is full flash, semi-fresh. The Saturday says yes, and that is a strikeout. Four on the day for Ryan now to bring his total up to 42 as the catcher Sandy Alomar will be up next. He is one for two today with a single. Two, three, five. Is a pitcher wild? No. Batter eager? The Saturday says no. Is he patient? Patient, no, and that'll be a ground out to second. Another one, two, three inning there for Ryan. Sit. Cleveland goes down quietly. Ryan becomes not fresh, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Texas still in control. Doug Jones is going to go ahead and come in. I know he is a closer for Cleveland in this season, but he did pitch this game in this shortened game, so... He's going to go ahead and come on in and pitch and try to hold Texas to just those eight runs. As the first pitcher, he or first batter he will face is Julio Franco. Franco 
one for three on the day. One for five. Is a pitcher a struggler? No. And Franco will ground out the third to start off the bottom of the seventh inning. Catcher Gino Petrali will be up next. One for three today. A few pop outs. Three, four, five. Iron catcher Alomar is not. Batter good, I know. And that'll be a strikeout for Petrali. Out number two, we go to player uh, baseball right now. Check. Doug Jones will be full hot since we're past the uh, fifth. And Cavaglia had a single last time, so he is full hot. 2-4, hot batter, yes, reaches for outside pitch and connects on a bloop single over the shortstop. So Cavaglia to keep the inning going for the third baseman, Scott Coolball. 0 for 2 on the day. The only player to not get a hit today for Texas. 2-3-6, DB control or dynamic, no. Is pitcher batting, no. And he will draw a walk, his second walk of the day. Have a game, cool ball, as the center fielder, Gary Pettis, come up next with two outs. One, five, six, is he a whiffer? Yes, he is, and he will strike out for the second time. Texas, no runs that inning. As we go to the top of the eighth, eight to three, Texas. I'm going to go ahead and bring out um, Gary Melke, start warming up. I'm going to try to get one more inning out of Ryan, just because he hasn't thrown a whole lot of pitches. He doesn't have, he doesn't have any walks, so I figure his pitch count is still fairly low. We're going to see if we can get him through this. As the shortstop Felix Furman comes up, one for two on the day. Two, two, six. Better hit by pitch? No. Is this the cleanup batter? No. Is he a whiffer? No, and that'll be a fly out to left field. Out number one, second baseman Jerry Brown. To bat next, 0 for 3 on or 0 for 2 on the day of the sack. 1-5-5. Five, five. Is he a home run king? No, and he'll fly out to center field for out number two. And the center fielder, Mitch Webster, will come up 0 for 4 now. Or 0 for 4 on the day. 2-3-4. Are there runners on base? No. Is he a hot batter? That is a no, and he's going to pop out to the third baseman. Four, out number three. So another one, two, three inning for Ryan. He's making a case to go try to get a uh, complete game out of this. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. It is eight to three, Texas. And shortstop Jeff Houston will be leading things off. He is one, four, three today. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? No. And that'll be an outfield drama check. We'll take a look at 4-6. The left fielder is James Iron. He is actually on top there. That is a no. That is a running grab of a hooking line drive for a line out. Out one, and we go to team chemistry check for Rafael Palmero. Both teams are full dissonant. 6-6, six, six, batting team harmony, no. Palmero strikes out. Route number two in the DH, Harold Baines. Set to come up next. One for three on the day of the single. Four, four, six. Is the pitcher a star? No. Is better a sad sack? Utility or patient? The sire die says he is not patient. And that is going to be a single to right field to keep the inning alive. And then we go to a player experience check for Ruben Sierra, who is neutral. And the pitcher, Doug Jones, is semi-icon. One, five. Prospect batter? No. And that's going to be a single Palmero will go, or Baines will go to second. And the second baseman, Julio Franco, will be up now. One for four on the day. Four, four, five. Is the pitcher a workman? No. Is the batter patient? No. And that'll be a ground out to first base to end the eighth inning. So we go to the top of the ninth. Rangers up, eight to three. And I'm going to go ahead and keep Ryan out there. He is on a very short leash just because, yes, he did give up three runs, but he still has not given up any walks. So he's, I'd say he's probably up into the mid to, mid to high 90s, low 100s maybe. We're going to see he's past few innings. He's gotten, well, shoot, he's got uh, 9, 10, 11 straight outs. So he's, 
he should be still feeling pretty good as left fielder Chris James comes up over three on the day. Four, five, six. Is the batter patient? No. And he will fly out to the center fielder. Four, out number one. We go to a team chemistry check for Candy Maldonado. 0 for 3 today. But these chemistry checks have gone in Cleveland's favor all day. So good chance he gets a hit here. 3 5. Pitching team dissonance. Yep. And an inattentive infielder lets ball gets past him for a single. So. <laughs> Ryan's been putting these batters to sleep and also his fielders, it seems like, as a third baseman, Brooke Jacoby, comes up. He is one for three on the day with a double and a run scored. What? I don't know why I didn't roll all three dice there. Putting me to sleep, too. Three, five, six. Are they the same? Righty on righty, they are. And that is a strikeout. So Ryan gets one more. He gets his fifth strikeout of the day. Bring the K counter up to 43, and the first baseman, Keith Hernandez, Cleveland's last chance. He is one for three on the day. Runner on first with two outs. Here is the pitch, 3-6-6, six, six. pinch hitter, no. That's a fly out to center field, and the Rangers will take this one by a score of 8-3. to three. And I will be back in a moment with your Nolan Ryan stats. So another good game there by Ryan. Uh, strikeouts just weren't there, but I mean, no walks. He gave up six hits, three earned runs, complete game, got the win. So in real life, after seven games, he had four wins, 49 strikeouts. And in our replay, he's got five wins, 43 strikeouts. So six off the pace, but we are one game ahead in the win column. So I think the next game, um, I don't think he got very many strikeouts. I'll have to look it back up again as I get prepared for it. So might be a good chance there to uh, get caught up, try to get a little bit more on pace with our strikeouts. So uh, Ryan gets the win today. Like I said, complete game, three earned runs, six hits, five strikeouts, no walks. Shaw is, takes the loss. He only went one inning, gave up seven runs. Texas had that huge first inning. With all the runs coming on, uh, five of the runs coming on two outs. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, been a little while since I recorded. My software is just an absolute mess. I do not like my streaming software. I use, I won't say who I use, but let me know uh, in the comments who you guys, uh, what you guys use for your software for recording your videos. I'm definitely looking at different options. But, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, I ask you please like, leave a comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. Until next time, go. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. God bless.